Let's take a look on how we use kinesiology tape for a calf strain. This particular client has strained the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. So let's just take a look at the anatomy. So where does it origin from? So it originates from the posterior condyles of the femur. So it crosses the knee joint and then it inserts into the calcaneus by the calcaneal tendon or the Achilles tendon. And the action of the gastrocnemius is twofold as it crosses both knee and ankle joints. So it flexes the knee, so the tibial femoral joint, and it plantar flexes the ankle, so the talocrural joint. So let's look at how we tape for the acute and the early subacute phase. So the key points to focus on, so we have the two-step process for inhibition taping. So our focus is inhibiting the lateral gastrocnemius head because that is where the strain has occurred and also desensitizing that area of tissue, that local area of pain. And other options, if there is some swelling that is present, you can use the lymphatic taping as well to help improve that lymphatic drainage to that area. So begin by taking off the tape, and here we want a long anchor because it's going to cover the whole of the calcaneus and attach underneath the foot. Relax foot to attach the anchor. And as we peel off the tape, we want light tension through the tape and the tissue on a stretch. We get the client to go into dorsiflexion. Light tension on the main part of the tape. Relax foot then for the base. And then rub the tape down to adhere the tape. Now when you're working around the Achilles area, sometimes you might get some creases or crumples around that tape. That's absolutely fine. And just try and iron them out and rub them down as much as you can so they stick easier. And then you will notice that I've applied the tape on a lateral aspect of the gastrocnemius, focusing on the area where that calf strain has occurred for this particular client. And then from there, we want to do the desensitization taping. So we found the area of pain. We take the tissue into a stretch, light tension on the tape, breaking the tape from the center, relax the foot to attach both anchors down, and then rub the tape to stick down. And moving into the subacute and remodeling phase where we change our taping approach. So the focus here is all about activating and stimulating the lateral gastrocnemius. We want to reconnect the brain back to the nerves around that muscle belly to help build strength and then return to function. You may want to combine with other tapings depending on what you found in your assessment. But some examples might be taping around the plantar fascia or gluteal activation. As often clients, when they've experienced a calf strain, it might be because their glutes are underworking when they're doing sports such as running. So for activation taping, we're starting at the distal end, working towards the proximal end. So we create the anchor on relaxed tissue to start with, stick the anchor down. So work on that lateral side again, as we did before, taking the back off the tape, taking the tissue into a stretch, light tension on the tape along the muscle belly with that stretch and then relaxing the foot as the tape goes over the calcaneus and then rub it down to stick. 